and welcome to another Instrument Choice support video. In this video we'll walk through the instruction manual of the Kestrel 1000 waterproof wind meter. We will run through the features and options, how to get started, setup options, some measurement notes, as well as maintenance and calibration. The Kestrel 1000 measures wind speed in miles per hour, knots, the Beaufort scale, meters per second, feet per minute or kilometers per hour. The meter features a carry case, an adjustable lanyard, a one inch impeller, three navigation buttons, a large crisp LCD screen, a button information sticker on the back, as well as the battery cavity. You can turn the device on and off using the centre button. The Kestrel meter will automatically turn off if no buttons are pressed after 45 minutes. Press the left or right button to view the maximum and average wind speeds. Pressing the on off button and the left arrow will allow you to scroll through the available units of measure. The maximum and average settings are reset each time you turn the device on and off. To reset averaging and maximum recording, turn the unit off and then on again. The Kestrel 1000 also allows you to hold measurements on the screen. This can be useful for taking measurements when you're unable to see the display. Hold down the on-off button, then press the left arrow. Hold will blink on the screen. To exit hold mode, repeat the same. Hold down the on-off button, then press the left arrow. When the display becomes dim or even disappears, you need to change the batteries. To do this, you will need a small coin. A 10 cent coin works well. Insert it and twist to open the battery door. If needed, replace it with a new, clean CR2032 coin cell battery with a positive side facing up. Then replace the battery door and lock into place with a small coin. When replacing the battery door, be sure to keep the black rubber o-ring sealed in the groove. Last of all is impeller calibration maintenance. The Kestrel impeller calibration drift is less than 1% after 100 hours of use at 16 miles per hour or 7 meters per second. Drift increases with higher speed use. For most users, the impeller will provide accurate wind speed and airflow readings for years if it is not physically damaged. However, if your application requires high precision or if you perform frequent high speed readings, we recommend that you replace your impeller at one year intervals. Every replacement impeller is supplied with a certificate of conformity and restores your Kestrel calibration upon installation. A link and a video for replacement impellers is in the description. And that's a quick overview of the Kestrel 1000 and an overview of the user manual. We hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.